we're back with Gerald Chalente, one of my favorite guests of all time, my longtime friend and the ultimate trends forecaster talking about top trends for 2024. Gerald, um, you know, in my reading of, of your top trends, one obviously really stood out for me is that you think golden days, a golden year for gold are ahead in 2024. You wrote, as we had forecasted for several months, the U.S. Federal Reserve will lower interest rates and the lower interest rates fall, the deeper the U.S. dollar will sink and the higher gold prices will rise. Let's talk about that. That's as simple as that. They're going to do everything they That's can. That's as simple as that, right? <laughs> yep. going to, they do it all the time. They lower interest rates in the run up for the presidential reality show. By the way, that's our trademark. It's a reality show. That's all it is. It's a TV show. And so going back, who's our who's the Treasury Secretary? Oh, Janet Yellen. What was her last job? Oh, she was the Fed head. Wait a minute. The former head of the Federal Reserve is our Treasury Secretary? Yeah, that's right. That's who's running our government, the banksters. And they want to keep it in power. We said... Again, for several months, they're going to lower interest rates. Now they're all saying it, of course, now that they're going to lower interest rates. The only reason gold didn't move up sharply as all this stuff was going down was because of the strong dollar. And the only reason the dollar was strong, not because of $34 trillion of debt, because interest rates are so high. And you're getting 5% on your, on your, on your, on your, uh, on, on your, your treasury notes and, and on and on. Uh, so, so what happens? Now they're lowering it and you're seeing gold prices going up already. This is going to be the year for gold. And by the way, my first buy of gold was, I think it was about $187.50 an ounce back in the late 1970s. So I've been on this a long time. Never have I seen an opportunity like the one coming up now. This is going to also be the beginning of the wow. death of the dollar. That's what's so important. You're already seeing now China and 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 uh, and Russia, no more no more dollar trade. Iran, no more dollar trade. You're going to start seeing the BRICS. No more dollar trade. This is the end of the American empire, and the dollar is going to go down. If they get rid of the petrodollar, kiss it goodbye, and then you're going to see gold prices soar. We Does are. Does it happen quick? Excuse Does me? it happen quickly? Does it happen quickly, Gerald, or is it a slow erosion? No, it's, it, the erosion's already in front of everybody's eyes. It's just going to become official when something like that happens. Again, like they call war begins when, quote, something official happens. So it's already going to go down. We're saying that 2024 is going to be the year for gold. We could see gold prices easily, easily above $3,000 an ounce. It, wow. It's going to go. And, and again, you go back to 2023. Oh, it was a record year for central banks buying gold, wasn't it? That's right. Again, this is the beginning of the death of the dollar. Um, the world, the, again, we, we only get the news from the West. The rest of the world is disgusted with what America is doing, econo geopolitically and economically. They've had enough. And they're pulling out. And, and to that point, I mean... I mentioned people are, are, are still surprised when we talk about, you know, digital currency when it's in front of our eyes, but they're also still, you know, does it surprise you they still question uh, the BRICS? I mean, everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people have been brushing them off saying, you know, just they're just a bunch of misfit countries. They don't really matter. But now they've doubled in size on New Year's Day by adding five new members, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE as new full members. So they keep gaining in strength. I mean, how much longer can we brush them off for? Well, again, we're not brushing them off, just the people. Are no, no, them I, mean, I don't mean we, me and you. I know. <laughs> but I'm saying they don't count. They don't, they don't know what's going on. Again, why don't we talk about Taylor Swift? The Times you know, person that, of the that, year, that, by the way. That's the news. You know, it, it's, it's, I was looking at the top trends that they're putting out. I went to CNN. The eight biggest makeup trend predictions of 2024. Maybe we're in the wrong business. I mean, <laughs> you know, back in the day, by the way, I used to be on CNN all the time for the top trends. I used to be on everybody all the time. But now they don't have me on at all because they don't like what I have to say 
because I that's when television was good and yeah. Doug Casey was on Phil Donahue <laughs> yeah and you were on Oprah I was on Oprah twice I used to be on I used to be on N, uh, NBC uh, the good uh, you know the Today Show every year doing the top trends Good Morning America all of them all of them they don't want to hear it oh and by the way an, another big important thing is journalism is dead you saw the article that just came out by uh, 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 Christmas Challenger in Gray that showed how many journalists were fired in, in, in uh, over the last yes. year. Yes. And I think that's really telling in itself that, you know, in the 80s and the 90s, we had, you know, the Gerald Chalentes, the Doug Casey's on on daytime television. Right. Yep. With intelligent questions actually being asked with an audience that actually was invested and cared. And it's like, where did that all go? You know, where did it all go? It's the decline of society. I mean, it's in front of everybody's eyes. You know, you know, you know, one of my books, and I, I gave you this one, my, the very thing I've written is my favorite, what Zidzi gave Honey Boy. Zidzi's the Neapolitan dialect for auntie. And this is a picture of my parents' wedding. Yes. 1934. They worked, my father worked in a fish store. They worked in factories. The dress, the style, the Look grace of the I country. Know used to have and now it's a it's a slob show you go on it you go in an airplane and look what the people look like i mean look at the people you you got your pajamas on you know i mean, I mean it's, it's just the decline of society it, by the way people say i'm negative no i'm not negative i'm showing what's going on but there's a solution to it and that's a renaissance again what followed the black plague the Renaissance. And what did they say in Italy? You could speak Italian. I can't. How do they say in the manner of the Romans and the ancients to describe the quality of their work? They were killing themselves with the filth and sanitation. They said, we have to go back to when it was great. And they had the beautiful Renaissance, again, in the manner of the Romans and the ancients to describe the quality of their work. We need the Renaissance of what our ancestors came to this country for. That's gone. Gone. The bigs have taken over everything. No more grocery stores, no more hardware stores, no more stationary right. stores, no more drug stores. They're all chains, all chains. So they did away with the Robinson Patman Act, Sherman Antitrust Act, Clayton, Act, Clayton Antitrust Act, Glass Steagall Act, one act after another that let the bigs get bigger. So we have to go back. We need a renaissance. To me, that's the only way it's going to change. I, I, I absolutely agree. That's why when I had Rick Rule on recently, and he said he thinks life will be better in 15 years. I mean, I usually agree with him on points, but I was thinking, I, I just can't, I can't see it unless we were to go back yep. to some sort of renaissance that, that you speak of. Yeah, and you know, to your point you know, about pajamas, yeah. I think in the, the little things we can do, you know, in our day to day, I love the fact that every time I see you, you're decked out, you're always polished. Right, you're never going to see you, Gerald, and Lululemons <laughs> holding a Starbucks cup, <laughs> running errands. No, I'm blessed, you know. Again, you know, as I say, I'm a blessed guy, a Napolitano, born in the Bronx, born to be free, and it breaks my heart to see what's happened to this country. It breaks my heart. Well, on that note, as we wrap, I mean, we covered a lot of trends for 2024. I'm going to give you the last word. I mean, uh, you know, for the folks watching at home, I mean, many are, are investors. And I'm sure they're going to be listening to what you said about, about, about gold and doing their research there. Um, but, you know, one, what should we be, you know, how should we be preparing or what should we be doing? I mean, you know, you're talking about World War III here, Gerald. You know, the people have to stand up. You know, there's a... Um a quote from St. Thomas Aquinas that anyone that is not angry when it's morally just to be angry is immoral. And it's time to be angry to see how these clowns called politicians have robbed us of our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Happiness is a dirty word. You're not allowed to speak about it anymore. The people have to do something. They have to unite for a greater cause and so people say, well, how should we do it? I say, well, only speaking for myself, you have to get in the best shape you can physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, they say, uh, critical care nurses say that the greatest regret of dying people is they didn't do what they could have done the best that they could have done it. 
would would took take the would take a profession or do what they wanted to do. Uh, rather, they did something because it was paying them to do it. So, you know, I want to get out here on a high note. And I just want to make it clear. I mean, I pulled a lot of crap in my life, too. But, you know, I mean, I used to kill. I was killing environmental legislation at the height of the environmental movement back in the 1970s. I was in, I was a government affairs specialist for the chemical industry. Uh, I, I, but again, I wouldn't know what I know if I wasn't on the other side. I was staying at the Willard Hotel at 28 years old and putting my meetings on at the Hay Adams right across the, 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 the White House. But I learned. I started growing up and learning more. And so what I'm saying to people, don't stop learning and, and get in the best shape you can. That's the most important thing because your life is on the line and so is our country. And to do what you can to change the course. And again, it does not take a majority to prevail, but rather an irate, tireless minority Keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men, said Samuel Adams. Well, on that note, Gerald, um, I cannot wait to see you again in person in Kingston. Um, and you're talking about getting in the best shape of your life. So I have something here for you that I'm going to bring to Kingston next time I see you. It's not going to help you get in shape, but it's your panettone. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you don't want to see the calorie count on this, but <laughs> I'm bringing it to you. So uh, thank you. we'll have some good chats and, and time together, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have and to make the best of life. And that's, yeah. you know, you know me, I grind that espresso, with... those beans by hand. To oh, make it... The best <laughs> coffee I ever had ever yeah. period. I'll count. I wish I was your neighbor because I'd come over every day for one of those. <laughs> But I thank you, Gerald. Uh, thank you so much, Gerald. And I know we covered a lot of complex topics. So I urge everyone to get a copy of Gerald's Trends Journal, reread it multiple times, prepare. And I also want to say if you have questions about any of the topics we covered or you know, need a strategy for 2024, you can reach out to one of my uh, colleagues uh, over at ITM. You can book an appointment with them in the Calendly link below in the description. Gerald, I know we'll be touching base. I always say, I really hope none of your forecasts pan out. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and uh, we'll speak soon, okay? Okay. Ciao, ciao. And thank you all for watching. We'll have more great content coming your way, so be sure to stay tuned to the Daniela Camboni Show now on ITM Trading. And don't forget to sign up at DanielaCamboni.com to stay on top of it all. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.